do you deal with people and not um, let that stuff get in here? So their burden become your burden. Mm -hmm. And so you, as the mentor or the counselor, have to literally get away and just, you know, clear your mind, dump yeah. your mind. That's why Jesus went up on the mountain often time to pray. Yeah. And what I'm saying to you is that every once in a while you have to take time to refill your pitcher so that you can come back to pour into their cups. issues that these girls and guys are having is so heavy. And that's why I frequently take vacations. Yes. Because after you after you after you have to deal with people's burdens, what happens is after a period of time it becomes your burden. Because it's hard to be um, sensitive to somebody else's need if your heart is not involved. Yeah. And so when your heart is involved and open you will receive their, 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 their hurts, their pains, and things of that nature. And what happened is, it'll start affecting you. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And you, sometimes you'll wake up in the morning, you'll be emotional. You don't even know why you're emotional, yep. okay? It ain't even your emotions. Mm. It's, some, it's something that you've counseled, that your mind won't let go. Mm -hmm. It's some people that you're concerned about. Mm -hmm. And so their burden become your burden. Mm. And so you, as the mentor or the counselor, have to literally get away and just, you know, Clear your mind, dump your mind. That's why Jesus went up on the mountain often time to pray. Yeah. Because after he dealt with his disciples and dealt with the multitudes, he needed time to, to empty himself with God. And that's why the scripture talks about cast all your cares upon me for he cares for you. Yes. All right, And that's what that's all about. You see what I'm saying? And it's hard to continue that um, um, process if you don't take time out for you. And so the question now becomes, when your pitcher runs dry, mm -hmm. then who cups who cup do you pour into? Yeah. You know, we don't realize how much it takes from us and how much we pour out and how much we give, how much we sacrifice for the life of other people. Yeah. And that's wonderful. Yeah. But who takes care of us? Yes. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And so you have to realize that when you run out, then nobody gets blessed. And so you have to say, okay, now I've, I've gotten to that place now. I need to take a vacation or I need to do what, what, what Tanya need to do. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, um, so that we can kind of get that clear. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so um, that's that's one of the things I share with, with everybody, yeah. okay? That's that's willing to listen, that is, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's, it's a rough place. So as my mentor and friend, you already know I got to come to you and ask you some questions. So I know as a minister, like it can get heavy because I know you are also a mentor as well. But what are some things that you do or how do you release all of the heaviness that comes in your space? A couple of things I do <clears throat> mainly is I'm going to prayer. And sometimes we have to unplug and that can require unplugging from social media, unplugging from talking on the phone, unplugging sometimes from work, and just get quiet, you know, get quiet before God and collect my thoughts and begin to pray and to start prioritizing to see what actually needs to be on my list. So how are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good. That's good. So I was just wanted to thank you and appreciate you from imagining and teaching me techniques, how to love myself more, how to make me feel beautiful, and kind of how to just open up and relieve the pain and let it heal and remove hate for more love. And I just appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. I'm Listen, when I tell you it's just such a privilege and an honor to know you. Um, I remember when we first initially met, um, and 
under the circumstances, I'm like, whoa, you know, like, the stuff that she's dealing with in her life is heavy, you know, it's a lot. And I'm just grateful that you were sent to me for me to do whatever I could do and to see the beauty and how it's turned around and just how you, you, you took heed to everything that I told you. Um, we talked a lot about praying and why that's important. And Yes, that's every morning, every night, at lunch, in, any time, any day. Yes. Prayer, just shout, believe, and it's have faith. Yeah, I remember um, when you, you came to me and you were like distraught and, and you were crying and, and like I remember going home, taking what you had been going through with me in my spirit and I mean, I was just like, wow, you know, like she got to come out of this. She gonna have to come out of this some type of way. And um, I remember when you came back to me and you was like, I just want to pray, pray, you know. Yes. <laughs> And um, and we prayed, and then it, it, I felt the I felt the heaviness lifting off of you, um, and then I saw that smile you got, and I'm just like, look at that smile, you know. Um, it's just beautiful. I mean, like it, to see, like you know, thank God we don't look like what we've been through. Exactly. You know what I mean? Because both of us got stories, you know. Um, but to actually be able to. Um, get out of something because you went through it is 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 amazing absolutely amazing and it didn't break you you know what I mean and so because of what you went through you're stronger you know it didn't kill you so you're stronger right right yeah. so yeah that's what I do like um you right I was in a shell I was broken but I didn't let it affect my everyday life but that's why I'm happy and I'm thankful and I appreciate that I met you and that you took me up out of it because I used to, like, I'm ugly. I don't feel like I'm cute. So I just wear this to make myself unattractive. I was, like, kind of in a shell with pain and hurt and just torn up. So, yeah, you run me out of it. You made me see the better side. You made me see, like, it's not only dark, it's light too. And I appreciate that so much. Yeah. I mean, everything I'm so has. For it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, everything has an opposite, right? So when there's sadness, there's also happiness. You know, when there's dark, there's definitely light. Um, and so what I try to do with my life is I try to make sure I focus on the positive, you know, because the negative is going to come. You know, in life, you're going to get hit with all kinds of stuff, you exactly. know, but the, the question is, how do you respond to it? And even when I'm teaching in my sessions, when I'm in Imagine, I always say this one thing, life is about 10% of the things that happen to you and 90% in how you, how you respond. respond. Yes. yes. And so the, the question is, how do you respond to stuff that you deal with, right? Because if you respond in a negative way, the consequences are going to be great. But if you respond in a positive way and you just pray about it and you keep moving, then the consequences won't be as bad, right? And so, um, and I apply that to my life and everything. I apply that to myself personally. I apply it in a professional life. Um, I apply it in, in the call that God has on my life to do what I do, to work with people like you, you know, um, because I believe seriously that if people understand that we have to just respond to things differently and we have to learn how to be wise about the decisions that we make, our lives will be so much better. It'll be better, you know. What do you see? I see pain, loneliness. First, by acknowledging why you feel the way that you feel. Like, this is good. This is cleansing her soul. This is good. Everybody that's doing this is going to cleanse you because now you're acknowledging in, what's in this mirror that I look at. And once you get a clear understanding of, 
I know exactly who the person is in the mirror. I know exactly who I am and what I've been through. Can't no devil in hell tell you anything different. So when I look in the mirror, I see a person who, who is a lot stronger because I wasn't able to do this before. And I'm truly grateful that I'm able to do it. Um, a woman who was broken um, spiritually and emotionally and financially in every way broken. But now I see one who is restored, someone who has grown, someone who has learned from life's lessons and is taking full advantage of what has been taught from trials and tribulations. That's who I see, someone who is more spiritually grounded because of the situations I've encountered in my life. And someone who has the heart to help other people genuinely and not just because everybody else is doing it. Thank you.